Hi, we are Engineering Brothers and our next crucial bridge is Hayes Bridge and just like my previous bridges, only one difference has been observed over here. In our previous bridge, the R4 and C4 are connected parallelly but over here you can see that the R4 and C4 are connected in series okay but the rest of the bridges are same over here so these type of bridge are called Hayes bridge okay so without wasting any time at balanced condition what are the values or what is the basic universal equation that is very very important over here which is Z1, Z4 which is equal to Z2, Z3 okay okay and just like my previous part or my previous classes the unknown arm is this one the R1 and L1 and R2 and R3 is the resistance and R4 is the resistance especially the non-inductive resistance as you can see that not a single inductor or the resistance is purely resistance uh, or resistive in nature okay but here you can see that r1 is connected with l1 okay uh, and r2 r3 r4 are non-inductive resistance okay and C4 is our capacitor over here. So uh, let us do that. So what is the value of Z1 for this arm? So Z1 is R1 plus J omega L1. This is our value of Z1. So for this one. For the value of, uh, so which one is our Z2? Z2 means our expression of R2, this one, and the Z3 is R3, which is this one, and which one is our Z4? Z4 is this one. R4 plus 1 divided by J omega C4 ok and as you can see that the imaginary part or J is being placed in the denominator or at denominator position so we should make some adjustment over here so if I multiply over here so this one is j square omega c4 ok and what is the value of j I know that the value of j is root of minus 1 and if I squared it I have got this one is minus 1 ok so I should replace this j square with this one ok so what is the value I have got r4 minus j divided by omega c4 so this is our fourth arm over here do you understand my point I want to repeat this portion once again here this R1 and L1 is our unknown arm over here and we don't know the values of R1 and L1 and by using this Hayes bridge our ultimate objective is by using this Hayes bridge we should find out the value of R R1 and L1 ok so what we have got the values of R2 and R3 and R4 are non-inductive resistor and the C4 is connected over here and by adjusting these values we have reached the null condition or balanced condition over here and I have written the balanced condition over here or balanced equation 
or universal equation over here and have separately write the expression of z1, z2, z3, z4 and our next step is we should replace over here. But before I go into that, I want to give you two minutes to note down up to this one and after that I will replace these values over here. So the time starts now. The next one is very easy. Just put those values of Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4 in this equation and after that I will get the mentioned expression over here. So I will put the expression one after another and then remove this expression that will give us more space to solve this balanced equation. So let us do that. So if I put the value of Z1 over here, I have got R1 plus G omega L1. R1 plus J omega L1 for Z1. Z4 means this one. Okay. So I have got the expression of R4 minus J omega c4 okay and what is the value of z2 and z3 z2 means r2 z3 means r3 okay so just remove this portion over here that will give us more space to solve the equation over here so what is the expression of our z2 the expression of our z2 is z2 means this R2 and Z3 means R3. So R2, R3. Okay. And the next one is very simple. If I multiply the expression, I have got R1, R4 for this one. R1, R4. minus j r1 divided by omega c4 and for this one I have got plus j omega l1 r4 plus or minus a minus j square for this one omega l1 divided by omega c4 
okay which is is equal to r2 r3 i want to repeat this question once again just multiply this two expression over here and what is been present at our left hand side if i multiply this with this one r1 r4 and this with this one i have got j r1 divided by omega c4 plus j omega l1 r4 minus j square omega l1 divided by omega c4 which is equal to r2 f3 and i can see that this omega omega will cancel each other so what is the final equation that i will equate the real part with real part let us do that so i should erase this upper step over here and just like to write it over here so what is the equation the equation is r1 r4 minus j r1 omega c4 plus j omega l1 r4 and what is the value of j square j square means minus 1 so this minus minus will give us plus okay so plus l1 divided by c4 which is nothing but the expression of r2 r3 i want to repeat this question once again just freshly write the steps over here so right now if i do equate the real part with our real part what is the equation over here the equation is very simple so if i do equate the real part with real part what we have got i have got r1 r4 which is free of this j omega j term or the imaginary term over here and i have got another expression which is l1 by c4 okay plus l1 by c4 which is is equal to our real part expression over here which is r2 r3 and what is the imaginary part that we have got i have got the imaginary part expression is j omega l1 r4 minus r1 omega c4 i have taken common the factor of j which is is equal to 0 as no imaginary part is present at the right hand side over here so these two are our equation that we need to rectify or we need to solve over here and just like my previous videos i have thoroughly analyzed each and every step over here that is why i keep on asking all of you to do subscribe my channel please like my videos and uh, share this type of informative and conceptual videos towards larger communities towards uh, your friends your relatives and towards your engineering friends also that will be better for all of us to connect with our larger audience that will be better for us to gain some more insights and gain some more knowledge over here because knowledge is power if we don't gain this type of knowledge or if your concept is not clearer then please do subscribe my channel that will be better for all of you to clear your concept and you can see that i have thoroughly given you all the steps over here and and my promise is very simple i don't skip a single step over here that is why i keep on asking you to please do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with our channel and have a conversation or have a conversation about my topics of this videos because if you do communicate with your friends about these videos that will be 
better for all of you to understand these concepts in a more depth way or in a more uh, meaningful way and please do subscribe my channel and like my videos so right now i want to give you two minutes and after that i will solve these two equation over here so the time starts now Right now I have successfully separated the real part and imaginary part over here. So just solve these two equation over here. So let us do that. That will give us the unknown values of R1 and L1 which is being present over here. So let us do that. So I should erase this portion to have some more space. So I first take the imaginary equation which is omega l1 r4 which is is equal to r1 divided by omega c4 okay what is the value of l1 l1 means r1 divided by omega square c4 r4 okay so this is our value of l1 i want to repeat this portion once again i have taken this equation over here and j multiplication of this factor is equal to zero so this factor is also zero so only this equation is being present over here and I have taken this expression at the right hand side of my equation which is I have got this one omega L1 R4 is equal to R1 divided by omega C4 and I have got or I have found out the value of L1 which is R1 divided by omega square for this we will cross multiply which with this one and C4 L1 C4 R4. So this is our expression of L1 and if I do put this value of L1 over here I will get the value of R1. So let us do that. So just put the value of L1 or this equation over here. So I have got R1 R4 plus r1 divided by omega square c4 r4 divided by c4 which is is equal to r2 r3 r2 r3 okay 
so right now i should write this expression in a smaller way that will give me more space over here so l1 means i have got r1 divided by omega square c4 r4 so i should erase this portion over here that will gives me more space to solve the rest of the equation over here right now if i calculate or if i do calculate this equation i have got r1 r4 for this one and plus r1 divided by omega square c4 r4 which is multiplied with this one is c4 divided by 1 and if i do alter this exponent i have got this one which is is equal to r2 r3 r2 r3 okay so i should erase this portion as i have written over here right now we need to find out the value of r1 over here so if i take the common of r1 from this equation i have got r4 plus 1 omega square c4 square r4 which is is equal to r2 r3 r2 r3 and if i do alter this expression or do transfer this expression at the right hand side of our expression what we have got i have got this one which is r1 means r2 r3 divided by r4 plus omega square c4 square r4 okay and uh, just need to freshen up this expression over here so if i do solve this equation i have got r, this one is r2 r3 and the lcm is omega square c4 square r4 and just multiply this expression over here omega square c4 square r4 square plus 1 ok and I have I want to accumulate more space over here but before I go into that please note down up to this one and I want to give you another 2 minutes to follow that so the time starts now
the next step is very simple just do rearrange this expression over here and I will do that so let us see that so if I erase this portion I will have more space over here all I need the last expression over here which is this one okay just need to solve this simple equation over here this one is R2 R3 okay so what is the next step the next step is very simple this is equal to R2 R3 which is been present at numerator and this expression is present as a denominator so just invert this expression which is omega square c4 square r4 which is divided by omega square c4 square r4 square plus 1 ok so then what is the final expression of r1 the final expression of r1 will be omega square c4 square r4 r2 r3 divided by omega square c4 square r4 square plus 1 ok so this is our expression of r1 I have completed or rearrange this lower expression over here and after rearranging this expression I have got this is my final expression of final expression of r1 which is been given over here so just multiply this expression and after that I have got this is our expression of r1 so I should erase this portion to have some more space and would like to write the expression over here so what is the expression of r1 expression of r1 is omega square c4 square r4 r2 r3 divided by omega square c4 square r4 square plus 1 okay so just erase this portion and I would like to put this r1 value over here that will finally get the expression of l1 so in this equation I have got this one is our expression of l1 so if I put the value of r1 or expression of r1 in this equation what we have got I have got this one is omega square c4 square r4 r2 r3 divided by omega square c4 square r4 square plus 1 which is our expression of R1 and this divided by the rest of the expression which is omega square C4 R4 ok similarly if I would like to rearrange this expression what is the final expression over here the final expression will be omega square C4 square R4 R2 R3 divided by omega square C4 square R4 square plus 1 ok so th this expression is this one and over here this one is 1 so if I invert this expression I have got 1 divided by omega square C4 R4 ok
and right now I can see that this omega square omega square will cancel um, R4 R4 will cancel and only one C4 will cancel okay so what is been present at numerator which is C4 R2 R3 divided by omega square C4 square R4 square plus 1 this is our expression of L1 I want to repeat this portion once again first I have got or after I have successfully rearranged my expression I have got this is my expression and just put the value of R1 uh, at this equation and I have got finally this is our expression of L1 so this expression is our L1 so this one is our L1 okay and this one is our R1 so I think uh, the rest of the expression is not been required over here so just it is this portion over here that will be clearer your mind and clearer your doubts okay so I have got the expression of L1 and R1 which is our unknown inductance and unknown resistance for our Hayes bridge operation over here and the next expression is the Q factor so the Q factor is the expression for the omega L1 divided by R1 okay and if I put this value of L1 and R1 over here what is the final equation let us do that so the expression is omega this one is L1 so L1 is this one L1 is C4 R2 R3 divided by omega square c4 square r4 square plus 1 ok and in the lower part I have got the expression of r1 which is being given over here so r1 is omega square c4 square r4 r2 r3 divided by omega square c4 square r4 square plus 1 ok I think I need more space over here so I will write the expression of L1 and R1 over here that will give you better idea over here so the expression of L1 is c4 r2 r3 divided by omega square c4 square r4 square plus 1 ok so this is our expression of L1 expression of L1 is this one and the expression of R1 is this one which is being given over here so the expression of R1 is uh, I should write it over here I think uh, I should use this lower part so R1 is I should repeat omega square C4 square R4 R2 R3 divided by omega square C4 square R4 square ultimately plus 1 so this is our expression of R1 I want to complete my rest of the expression usually the Q factor over here but before I go into that I want to give you two minutes to note down up to this one and after that I will complete my Hayes bridge analysis over here I think no one is doing this type of conceptual and informative videos on YouTube platform and I am doing it by my own convenient way and it is totally my way okay so please do support me do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with our channel and uh, finally the time starts now
The next step is very simple. I have put the value of L1 and R1 in my Q factor expression over here. So all I need, we need to simplify this expression to get the final values of Q factor value over here. So in order to do that, I should erase this L1 and R1 expression over here as I have written the L1 expression over here and R1 expression um, at the downward side of my board. Okay, so right now I should calculate or rearrange this expression over here. So all I need omega C4 R2 R3 divided by omega square C4 square R4 square plus 1 and this one is inverted if I like to make this expression in this way. I have got this multiplied with omega square c4 square r4 square plus 1 divided by this lower expression which is been given over here. So just write this lower expression which is omega square c4 square r4 r2 r3. Okay. So this one is separated okay and this totally will cancel each other this total expression will cancel okay and what we have required over here I have got um, this R2 R3 will cancel over here R2 R3 this R2 R3 will cancel and I can see that this 2 is cancelled with this one and this 2 is cancelled with C4 and R4 is been present over here so the final expression of our Q factor is 1 by omega C4 R4 ok this is our final expression of Q factor over here. I want to repeat this question once again. I have got the expression of Q factor which is omega L1 by R1 and have just put the value of L1 and R1 in my Q factor expression and after simplifying this expression I have got the Q factor expression is 1 by omega C4 R4 and I should write this expression over here. So Q factor value is this one, uh, sorry, this one is Q or the value of Q factor. So Q factor is 1 by omega C4 R4. Okay. I think uh, I want to give you another one, one minute to note down up to this one. And after that, I will conclude my final take on his bridge over here and uh, the time starts right now.
I once again need to summarize this portion once again. First, I have got the expression of R1 and uh, this one is our expression of L1 and I have just completed the expression of Q factor over here which is being given over here. And by looking at this expression of L1 and R1, we can see that or we can say that this bridge is directly dependent on frequency as you can see that the omega factor is being present for our three expression uh, for the expression of L1, R1 and Q factor I can see that the expression of omega or omega means 2 pi f which is directly indicate that it is directly dependent on the factor of frequency okay and it is directly dependent on the factor of frequency okay and uh, I can say that or I can see that the source frequency is very very important for our expression of L1 and R1 and the Q factor over here and this bridge is suitable for the higher Q or value for the Q factor value if I do consider the Q factor value which is greater than 10 let us do another expression or modified expression of L1 over here so this is our value of Q factor so I can rearrange this expression as omega C4 R4 which is nothing but 1 by Q okay and if I do replace this omega c4 r4 over here what I have got I have got c4 r2 r3 and if I take the common omega c4 r4 which is whole square plus 1 okay and if I do replace this value of omega c4 r4 with this one I have got the modified expression of our L2 is this one which is 1 by q square plus 1 and this bridge is very very suitable for the q factor greater than 10 so q factor greater than 10 ok and if I do put this expression over here so just do consider the denominator so I should write it over here if I do consider the Q factor value as 10 I can see that this one is 10, 1 by 10 square plus 1 which is very very small ok which is very 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 small ok and the denominator portion is very very low ok so instead of writing this 1 by q square I should write this as 1 ok so the final expression of our L1 should be what if this, low, uh, this factor is being considered over here as 1 so the final expression is C4 R2 R3 which is the expression of our unknown inductance factor over here. So, I can see that I can see that if I do alter the factor of R2 and R3 for our expression of L1 I can see that I can control the inductance bridge or L1 factor over here and most important factor is the L1 is independent of frequency here at this equation you cannot find the expression of omega over here and I have successfully eliminated the factor of C4 uh, the factor of this omega factor over here but all this is considered if the Q factor is greater than 10. In the another case, if you do consider the Q factor as less than 10, 
or very low value, then this denominator portion of this equation is not negligible. So this lower value is significant. So we can't replace this value as one. Okay. So this condition is absolutely satisfied when the Q factor value will be greater than 10 or greater than or more than 10 over here. I want to repeat this portion once again. The expression of L1 is suitable over here when the Q factor value is way greater than 10 or it is not lower than 10 or lower than anything else. Okay. So if the Q factor value is greater than 10, then we can say that this factor is suitable over here and I can successfully adjust the values of R2, R3 and C4 to get or in order to get the unknown values of L1 over here. Okay. And, and the next part is very, very simple. Uh, the advantage of this bridge is this bridge is very very su suitable for the higher Q factor values. For the lower Q factor or the medium Q factor values, this bridge is not so suitable over here. Okay. And uh, in our previous bridge or Maxwell's inductance capacitance bridge, I can say that or I can see that the only different factor is the R4 and C4 are parallel in our previous consideration. But here you can see that the R4 and C4 are connected in series. Okay. And uh, this bridge is suitable for the uh, Q factor value greater than 10 over here. And uh, the another point is very, very easy. Uh, that the L value is being conditioned by this Q factor expression over here. Okay. So note down this portion once again. And uh, lastly, I want to give you another two minutes to note down up to this one. And after that, I will conclude my final Hayes bridge expression over here. So Stay tuned with our channel and please do subscribe our channel that will give us lot of confidence to bring a lot of exciting videos in the future scope of our studies. That will help us to do more videos over here. That is why I am asking your support. Please do subscribe my channel. So the time starts now.
Lastly, the major advantage of this Hayes Bridge is uh, very simple. I can see that the L1 expression is very simple. If I do consider that the Q value is OA bigger than 10. Okay, so if the Q factor value is very very bigger or especially it, it is bigger than 10, then I can see that or I can say that the denominator portion is been eliminated as you can see that this uh, lower portion is very very low. So I can make, uh, nullify this expression over here and do consider this lower part as only 1 and only this C4, R2, R3 will be present over here and uh, you can see that the L1 expression is very very easy for our Hayes bridge operation over here. So this is our first point or first advantage point over here. The second advantage is you can see that the Q factor is 1 divided by omega C4 R4 and this expression is also very very simple. All I need to follow is that we just try to properly adjust the values of R4. In our previous uh, previous bridge or Maxwell inductance capacitance bridge, the values of R4 as in that bridge, the R4 and C4 are connected in parallel. So in that case, the values of R4 is very, very high. But for this bridge, if the Q factor, if I do consider the Q factor value is very, very high. So if I do consider the Q factor value is high, then the denominator portion is the value of this denominator expression is low. So that will ultimately conclude that the values of our resistance for this Hayes bridge should be low. I want to repeat this portion once again as this bridge is very, very suitable for the Q factor value which is greater than 10, then ultimately you can see that as this is being present at the denominator. So this lower part of our expression is very, very low and which ultimately give us the expression or the conclusion that the values of our R4 should be low to adjust the higher Q factor value over here. So that is the second advantage over here uh, and uh, in my previous bridge the values of R4 are very very high compared to Hayes bridge. So that is the second advantage point over here and the third advantage point is this bridge is suitable for the Q factor value greater than 10 or we can conclude or we can calculate uh, the Q factor value higher than higher than 10 by using this Hayes bridge and the disadvantage for this bridge is only one disadvantage is been placed over here we cannot calculate the Q factor value uh, less than 10 for the less than 10 if I do consider less than 10 over here so the lower part of our expression or specially the denominator is not negligible so this expression is very very significant so we cannot neglify or we cannot neglect this denominator for from this ratio okay that is why our one condition is evident over here that is the q factor value should be greater than 10 for q factor value less than 10 or very smaller q or factor value then the denominator expression is very very significant so we cannot nullify this expression over here so the values of L1 will be complicated for that consideration so this is all about our Hayes bridge analysis over here though I can understand that this video is very very large but I have totally given you all the consideration, all step-by-step -step analogy, all 
small analysis over here that will keep your concepts in a clearer way and you can feel that you have completely understood the concept of Hayes Bridge over here and I can tell you or I can guarantee you that only Indian brothers are doing this type of thorough analysis or step by step analysis over here. That is why I just want to say that I need your support. So only one thing you can say that if you still have any doubts let me know in the comment section below hit the bell icon for more updates and please do subscribe our channel because this type of rigorous analysis or step by step analysis are all together missing on YouTube platform and I am doing it by my own style and uh, I don't skip a single step over here and I am going to show you each and every step over here and uh, all these expressions are done by me on live classes so these classes are equivalent to live classes and I don't uh, take uh, uh, or I don't break a single step of this expression over here so all I need I need some uh, huge amount of support from all of you so please do support us please uh, do subscribe our channel hit the bell icon and most luckily I want to say you if you have any suggestions regarding our videos please uh, uh, let us know in the comment section below and uh, always do believe in your own abilities always do believe in yourself and I know that one day we will all be successful okay so this is all of, all about our haze bridge expression over here and uh, lastly uh, thank you and goodbye